Geostorm, the latest of the CGI fests, which include Gerard Butler reprieving his role as some asshole who's trying to save the world, um, with a hammy set of dialogue and not an awful lot of storyline and quite a lot of random action that doesn't make sense. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, there's plenty more films like this and it's not really any better or worse than any of them. I guess the problem that Geostorm has is that, so something like London Has Fallen or White House Down or um, 2012 was it? Like those films kind of know their crap so they, they're, kind of, they're kind of catering for an audience of just you want to see lots of dialogue and not, not lots of dialogue, lots of action. But a film like this, it's just never going to be that expansive or that interesting or that different. We've seen it all before. Like, it's going to have all the same tropes as any other film like this. So the problem is, is that it tries to take itself too seriously and look like it's a like as a proper film with a real like intriguing plot. And at the end of the day, it's just the same as all the others. Um, it's kind of enjoyable, and I guess the thing is, is that if you enjoy those sorts of films, like if you enjoy like a B movie, end of the world disaster action film, you're probably gonna get, you're probably gonna like it. And if you don't like those sorts of films, you're probably not gonna go and watch it. So, if the average cinema ticket costs ten pounds. You'd probably spend six, maybe five and a half, five fifty, and feel like it was okay. Otherwise, you know, same old, same old. I'll see you soon.